Hey guys, welcome back to Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. I've just been uh, meditating here for a little bit, looking out over this beautiful landscape. We've got the city in the distance, uh, a few hills, uh, the sun shining over there in the distance, and uh, there's a knight's quest to complete uh, about 300 meters away in this direction. Uh, I might as well go and do that. We do get a little little bit of money for completing the, uh, the knight's quests. Oh my god, there's a bear. Uh, Roach has uh, angered some of the local wildlife. Damn, you're ugly. Okay, it's all right, Roach. We took care of it. Um, I thought I saw a question mark on the map over here as well. I haven't seen... Um, many places of power in this new expansion. I don't think there are any here. Oh, harpies? Oh my goodness, they are really doing some damage to me here. Shall I leave them alone? I think I might just leave them alone. There might be a nest or something there. Yeah, they're still doing a lot of damage. Um, I should check my swords and things, make sure uh, they're okay. Hmm, armor needs to be fixed up. Panther! Oh my goodness! Run, Roach, run! Whoa! Oh, I think we have bandits here. Have I been to this place before? Um, I, I think it's bandits. Let's have a look. Oh no, it sounds like a... Like a giant? Cyclops. Get me there. Okay, let's grab the loot. 
tired for some reason. Okay, I don't think there's anyone we can trade with here. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, there is a quest also over here. Um, I should check that out as well. Looks like a, some ruins there. Uh, and then we'll head over to, to that spot there. I think there's a... Um, where is it now? Someone went missing over there. Ah, feet as cold as ice. Is that the one? Francois, fine. F I thought there was something to do with that island, but um, could, could it be a treasure hunt? Um, I should have a look and see where the Ursine armor is as well. Let's check this out on the map. Hopefully it's not too far away. It's over there. It's a little bit remote. Alright, let's head over to this uh, this quest. A young noble lady who had learned of the Witcher solely uh, from my thoroughly accurate descriptions, picked him out of a crowd and probably begged him for aid. She was concerned for her fiancé. We're going to find out what happened to him. Um, I thought there was something about the uh, that island there. We had to... Supposed to explore this or something. Hmm. Anyway, I'll head off in this direction and, and see what we can find. I will head over to these ruins. There's a question mark here. Wonder if I'll find anything Merton left behind here. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. So this is the, uh, the manticore gear, must be around here somewhere. Usually this treasure is guarded. Oh. Hello? Come on! Oh gosh! That scared me. What on earth? Oh my god! Okay, that was <laughs> that was a difficult fight, but uh, she was pretty quick. Um, yeah, that scared me in the beginning when she was the hooded woman and she suddenly transformed. Whew, okay, luckily there's just one of them. Let's take a look around. 
Quick story, okay. Okay, fragment of the journal. It pretended to be just another day as a clerk at the Ducal Treasury. Start the morning with the baguette and cam camembert. Then shuffle some parchments and head for home uh, before dusk. Today, however, the normal order of things was disturbed. Dramatically, I came across a highly interesting note in the archives and along with it a key. The key is the more interesting find because according to what I could decipher from the dust-covered scribblings in the note, it opens a chest full of gold coins, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Yet I did not know that hiding among the abandoned ruins there was a chest and that its key was lying right under my nose. The chest supposedly contains crowns meant for the purchase of books and rations. Okay. Folks say a curse has fallen on that place, a dark power brought down by the bestiality of the murders it beheld. But folk also say an Ophieri will become Emperor of Nilfgaard. Alright, so we found the key, probably to the chest which the clerk thought contained crowns, but I think it will contain the uh, the diagrams. Search around for it. Ah, is there something up there? Prisoner's Journal, Steel Sword. My fellow captive Merton, who for so many months kept his neck stiff, mocked my faith in Lebiota and praised the joys of a rider's life. Today broke down completely. He admitted he had wasted his God's given time on pleasures of the flesh, and all that he had to show for it were chains and indignities. I tried to lift his spirits. It is shocking how pleasantly I now converse with Merton. It beggars belief to think we once could not bear each other's presence. He's a man transformed, metamorphs. Uh, I feel he's accepted his new path. It is over, Merton has served his sentence and left these accursed dungeon walls. The teachings which I've tried to pass on to him during this last day, these last dozen months have clearly taken root. Merton has vowed to go on a pilgrimage which will let him cast off his old ways and open the doors for a new life. As I advised, he will go first to the cave where Lebiota received enlightenment and on his walls he carved four of his great truths. I hope the aura of that place will help Merton, as it has helped many before him achieve cleansing. Notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Merton went to the legendary cave. Lebiota was supposed to have hunkered down there once. That's my next destination. Ah, uh, there's a, a, a wyvern out there as well, of some kind. How far away are these caves? A long way away. Ah, uh, it's a journey for another day, all the way over there. Anyway, I've got what I came for. I'm sure there's something here. Is this a treasure hunt? Hmm, okay, I can't see anything there for the moment. Oh, this one, there can be only one. Upon a notice board in Toussaint, Geralt, uh, Geralt spotted a mysterious notice inviting all who dare to undergo a test of virtue. Uh, shall we? Let's do that last. Um, I will... Let's have a look for Francois first of all, and then we'll go to the aisle after that. Can I avoid facing this, this uh, wyvern?
I will leave it be. Where's that camp over there? I don't, I don't see anything on the map to my left. Um, are they friendly? Hunters. Gate of Revius. No joke. Stole my horse. Blast. Your breath. Loaf of witches and such a bad. That's too sound in a nutshell. Roach, where are you running off to? Oh, he's going to get some, some food. Okay. These guys don't really want to talk. Um. Right, we're not too far away from from where uh, Francois was supposed to be seen or headed. Uh, I wonder if this is his tent here. Is that oh that's <laughs> oh. Oh. you scared me off to death drifter what do they call you what's your crest speak Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. Mm. I must prepare properly for battle. Mm. By napping outside the cave for a fortnight? I have... Carried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? Hmm. I, I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. Hmm. All in all, I, I suppose you're right. <sighs> We must fight side by side then, for honor. How about he just stays here and uh, and I go and kill it? Ooh, some gauntlets. Seven ninety-one armor. Eighty-four. Hmm, it's better than the Tishim. Uh, Gauntlets, although it doesn't give the uh, doesn't have the leech effect. Uh, where do you run off to? Just wait a minute, buddy. Just slow down. Is he running off so fast? 
Where are you where are you going, Francois? Slow down. Come back here, buddy. God, he's just running straight ahead. Mm, strange. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Cradle filled with children's shoes. Have I ever seen a collection this grotesque? The brute is not here. We cannot change this. We must live with it. Desist. Well, seems like the beast is missing. I can certainly hear it though, under the ground. Bones. Small skull. Fontanelle's not completely closed. Infant. About a year, maybe. Various sundries, some tools. Gratori must have taken them from its victims. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Hmm, can't see anything else here. Ah, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, this looks like a... I'm going to use R here. Oh no. Okay, Spriggan. Ah, uh, particular named Spriggan. Um, not an insectoid, not a necrophage. Is it a relic? Yeah, it is. Okay. Vulnerable against Dimaterium Bomb, Relic Oil, and Igni. Happened like this, a nasty rain caught me while I was out in the woods, so I thought to myself, how hard in some hollow, for God's forbid, I get soaked through and catch a cold at my age. So I crawled into a cave, and there inside something roars at me. Tore out there so fast, winter dried my coat by the time I got home. Okay. Dumeridium bomb. Do I have those? I do. Okay. Blue out grotto by setting fire to the plants by using the Igni sign.
Uh, why do they do so much damage? Do it. Oh, nice. <sighs> By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable. A werebub, for instance. Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... Your blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I... Bowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast. Why, it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. Huh? The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine, one. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Want to prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. Whew. Okay. Now, there is another path where that creature came from. Uh, I guess we can have a look down here and see what we can find. Any treasure? Oh no, it just leads out. A flute. Okay, so we found Francois, let's head over here to um, some quest about proving our valor, something like that, a few dangerous animals to get past along the way, We're trying to avoid them by sticking to the road. Another one of those arch spores.
Well, let's just swim across and see what I can find. Oh, there's the hermit there. I'm walking on water. Just like. <laughs> like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, eh? Wrong. Hey. Happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know. For I know who you are. You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. You are a man of honor. As many can attest, of humble means yourself, you show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. You mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Sure. Anytime. Then draw your blade. This is the last Oh, gee. Proven worthy of wielding the blade, beyond all doubt. Behold. Your Arendite. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you received the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. From Witcher 2, I believe. Just wonderful. Huh? Uh, let's, let's check out this sword. 
Um, I wouldn't mind looking at the journal entry for uh, the Hermit as well. Uh, Silver Sword plus 10. Each blow generates charges which increase sword damage by 10%. Charges are lost over time or when receiving damage. A fully charged sword always deals critical. Wow. Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expand its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage increased by 0 to a maximum of 10. Increasing along with your character level. Okay, does a little bit more damage than uh, Dahlia, but Dahlia has the armor piercing, but this does uh, extra 10% for each blow up to critical levels, which sounds like an awful lot of damage, potentially. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what critical is. Is that uh, 150% or more? Um, so anyway, a pretty good sword. Alright, just some rocks. I thought there might have been a building there. Okay. Capture the castle is the, the main quest. Still need to wait a day to see the uh, the contract. Oh, we need to return to Francois's beloved. So we'll finish off this quest, um, and then maybe head off to that picnic I'm supposed to go to as well. Fisher King. Wait a minute. Um, what was that hermit's name? I've forgotten. Lady of the Lake. We first met her in murky waters. Um, yeah, I need to look up that hermit. I've, I've forgotten his name. Uh, is this him now, the Fisher King? Because uh, I'm pretty sure he was in uh, Witcher 2 as well. Okay, so I'll fast travel back uh, to the city, complete this quest, and then uh, see if I can complete the quest with the uh, the photographer as well. We're supposed to meet him for a picnic. Who would have thought? Nights trading in wine. Can you Some witcher. Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Hmm. Congratulations, I guess. Wish you happiness, both of you. And good fortune to you on your path. Your reward, master. And Godspeed. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully they are happy. Right, we're getting through these contracts. Um, this is the final Witcher contract. Uh, see where we need to go for this. There's the Spoon quest as well. 
Ah, it's down here. Okay. So we'll fast travel to, to uh, Fran Collard. Alright, we need to, to go here at noon. The portrait is ready for us to pick up as well. Oh, it's a long wait, but okay, we're going to be meditating here for a while. Both male and female Vauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Yeah, you are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. But just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting, just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Nice meeting you. So long now. Now, his daughter was in an accident and uh, she can't leave her house, unfortunately, so that's why he's um, he's making these these photos, or taking these photos for her. Uh, let's grab a little bit of uh, food for the, for the journey. Okay, nice little picnic here. Anything else? Ah, yes. Alright, yeah, let's grab a little bit of food, just, um... She's always showing Tend to go through, uh, through a lot of food. Letter from the wife of Count Bella Doll. Um, I was actually trying to grab the food there, so this is a little bit random. My dearest, everything here is good. For several days now the sun has been shining and it's quite hot, so the window in Calista's room is open almost all day. 
uh, Clarissa is, uh, is his daughter. Uh, if you could see her little face when the rays of sunlight hit her pure joy, she looks just like she was before the accident. If it gets a bit warmer, I will have her chair taken to the garden. Uh, the day before yesterday, Master Bouvard's wife, Alyssa, visited us. You remember her, don't you? When the Bouvard moved to Covia, all the society ladies were scared of inviting her to dine, and she seems to be either mad or some sort of self-taught witch. This is all because despite not having the right education, she made magic ointments and cosmetics. It is said that she spent three years in the Dragon Mountains learning from some elven sorceress. You know I don't pay much heed to gossip, which is why when the butler announced her, I, I immediately invited her in for a glass of lemonade. It turns out that she is an exceedingly charming person, and stories of her alleged witchcraft are highly exaggerated. She actually studied for three years at Aratusa, but because of some bad investments made by her father, she had to leave the academy. She left, however, with a good knowledge of plants and their magical applications. She brought with her a healing ointment, which I have to rub into Clarissa's legs each morning and evening for 10 days. When the treatment is complete, Alyssa promises to visit us again to see the results and advise us further. I have a good feeling about this woman. In my next letter, I'll tell you what happened with the treatment she recommended. Take care of yourself, my dearest. I beg that you don't overreact and do something silly. If something happened to you, I would know, wouldn't know what to do. Arabella. Okay. Okay, the Ursine gear is uh, quite far away, so I'll make my way up there another time. What I might do is um, actually head over to the castle. I think that's... Um, is it here? Or is it up there? Uh, yeah, so I might get back onto the main quest for a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can capture the castle. I've just made it to level 47. Uh, let's put this on the map. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, it's just up here. Uh, fairly close to the estate, actually. So I might stop by there and take a look. Uh, we also want to uh, pick up the, the painting at the market. So let's go and check that one out as well. Um, see what we can find there. 